is Shantae too lewd? Now, uh, this is gonna be the discussion for this video. I haven't really made a Shantae video in a little while now, but uh, at this point in time, I feel like it's now finally time for me to get to old video ideas I've had. Although this is pretty recent, I think I've kind of wanted to do this just for a little while, not too long as uh, other video ideas that will come up soon. But um, the topic is, is Shantae too lewd or is she too promiscuous, too um, suggestive? And the thing about that is, is this is going to be the definitive video discussing this. Now, Shantae, as we all know, is a series that started all the way back in 2002 with the original release on the Game Boy Color with the first game. Ever since the first game and even back in the day when it was just on the 8-bit Game Boy Color, Shantae has always been seen as a more sexually suggestive series, even back in those like minimal pixel art days. And the question is, why? Well, I don't know if y'all ever lived under a rock ever, but uh, obviously, if you look at Shantae's design, it is definitely a little bit suggestive, or is it? Now, the thing about this is today is that Shantae has, again, like it, it has always been a suggestive looking series. I remember I was in a Discord conversation a little while ago, and I remember someone saying that they need to age up Shantae, considering the fact that she's 16 years old, which has been stated numerous times on different wikis and forums. And it's pretty much a general statement that people a lot know that people know that Shantae is actually 16 years old. So may I ask why? Well, obviously, if we're really going to get down into it, let's just look at Shantae's design in general. I mean, she has this red suit on, looks like she has like a genie outfit. And besides her pants or whatever the thing is called, uh, she is pretty much exposed. A lot of her skin is exposed. She doesn't have really a shirt on. All she has is a bra and she's got her hair. And of course, she's got that neck thing around her thing, which I guess is, is cool to some people. I don't understand. I guess it's really suggestive to some other people but yeah that's pretty much all Shantae has now there has been depictions of Shantae where she is shown actually wearing you know a type of see-through pant type thing I'm, I'm not too sure how to describe but you can actually see through her pants to see her legs now you can't see nothing else but you can damn sure see her legs now personally speaking I do prefer the one where you actually can't see her legs because I do think it is a little bit suggestive, even in my taste, to see her actual legs. However, at the end of the day, if you actually are a true Shantae fan, as you would be if you were me, I don't know, you would know that Shantae's design is heavily based off of Turkish dancers, or in another case or way, would actually be belly dancers. Have you ever seen belly dancers? Have you ever seen Turkish dancers. If that is not the case, then you, sir or ma'am, you need to go on ahead and look at these pictures of Turkish dancers and belly dancers and stuff like that. These Turkish and belly dancers always have outfits that are very, very, very similar to Shantae. They usually don't have too much going on in their upper region, and they usually have see-through pants going on with their lower region. And usually they look like this, and it's very obvious that they're trying to show off their bellies or their backs or whatever. And that's usually how it is. Now to say if Turkish and belly dancers are actually like a suggestive thing, it probably can be seen as that. I will actually admit that. You can totally see how Turkish and belly dancers can be seen as suggestive and, you know, a little bit promiscuous. At the end of the day, though, when I look at the Turkish or belly dancer, I think I'm just going to call them belly dancers for the rest of this video. But when I look at a belly dancer, I generally see someone who is just trying to entertain. I would say someone on the lines of someone doing hula or, you know, those women who actually like spin around freaking fire and on freaking batons. I don't know what the fuck it's called, to be honest with you. But those girls remind me a lot of belly dancers. And I feel like that's what they're really going for. And with that in mind, I will definitely say that Shantae is kind of, to be honest with you guys, a toned down version of that. Now, I know what some people in the comments are gonna be saying. I mean, it's like, oh, well, you know, escorts and hookers are kind of entertainment. Well, that's more of sexual work and not so much entertainment work. Turkish dancers, hula dancers, 
and all these baton, you know, fire girls, whatever. They are not sex workers. They are entertainment women. They are literally just there for your entertainment. And that is all. Not trying to white knight over here or anything. So that's why Shante isn't really seen as that. Just because they're entertaining does not mean that they're really looking or offering sex. I really don't see Shante being, well, too suggestive, even more suggestive than actual real life belly dancers because for one, they're actually real and yeah. But with that in mind, I mean, well, why would anyone want to really do that? Well, the actual first person who actually designed Shante was actually Aaron Boson, who is also the wife of Matt Boson, who is the actual creator of Shante. But Aaron did design the character and a lot of other aspects of Shantae that will not get into this video, but she's very important as much as Matt is important to the series. So with that being in mind, Aaron is also, mind you, she's a woman. <laughs> she is a woman who designed this character. And if there's one person who would say, oh, is this way too suggestive? It would be a woman. But obviously we see that Aaron has definitely respected Turkish and belly dancer values with, you know, the way that Shantae is dressed. And even though on the outside, yes, it does look sometimes like they're actually exaggerating certain proportions and whatnot. I would say this is probably the most apparent and pirate's curse in my honest opinion, because in Half Genie Hero and onwards, it seems like they kind of tone down all of that stuff, especially in Half Genie Hero. You know, we're talking about like Risky's Revenge and the original Shantae. She's kind of taller, you know, she's not really got too much going on, but Pirate's Curse is definitely the worst defender of that. They were definitely trying to be suggestive in that field. But then again, their art style for that game was made by a completely different development team um, and all of that, but they were it was still developed by, you know, way forward. It was just the art style was, you know, just headed by some other people. But then you're saying, well, you know what, Kim? I don't understand all this because Shantae still is 16 years old. Like, how is this not inappropriate? However, and this is a big giant, however, it has been stated. I don't know how long this has been. It's been probably about a year or about a couple of months ago. It has been stated by Matt Bozon himself. Like I said earlier in this video, is the creator of Shantae. He has gone on to say in the Discord chat to say that although Shantae was 16 at one point in the series, for all future games and subsequent games nowadays, it should be assumed that Shantae, while doesn't have the specific age, which is in my opinion, the good, I, the good choice to be honest, is now an adult. You know, I kind of feel like it's kind of crazy because I got into the Shantae series when I was about 16 years old. And you know, back in the day, probably some people would like throw pitchfork for me, you know, feigning over Shantae, you know, even though I was 16 myself when I first got into the series. and. You know, um, I was probably gonna get the FBI called on me, even though they'd be calling an FBI on a uh, minor at the time. So, you know, knowing this, does does that mean that Shantae would have been into Shota? I don't fucking know. <laughs> now, it can be argued that in the past games that she is not an adult, but as it is now, Shantae is officially an adult. She is not 16. She's not anything below that or 17 years old. She is either 18 through infinity age. I don't fucking know, but <laughs> she is definitely an adult now. So now is Shantae too suggestive? Is Shantae too lewd? Well, well, when you put into account the fact that she was actually based off of Turkish slash belly dancer outfits, and the fact that her design was made by a woman, and the fact that it has now been confirmed that she is actually an adult, I'm pretty sure that's not really all that valuable anymore. There is plenty of other video game characters that are a lot more sexualized than this. I mean, look at the Grand Theft Auto series and all their female characters. Look at Bayonetta. Look at Street Fighter. Look at freaking Mortal Kombat. Look at all of these other video game examples. I mean, look at Lara Croft. I mean, I love Tomb Raider, but damn. In the past, they used to sexualize the shit out of her. I mean, she was on the cover of Playboy magazines. 
Shanta in comparison is, is not as bad as that. And you know, it's actually kind of sad because it seems like some people don't get into the Shanta series because it seems like it's too suggestive, like it's too anime or it's too suggestive or something like that. And it seems like that's like a common determining factor whether a person will play the Shantae series or not, which is really sad. And I will say right now that Shantae is not all that suggestive. And in all honesty, it's like in the games themselves, it's like no one really cares about what Shantae or whoever wears. I mean, it's just fact at this point that Shantae's aesthetic is kind of, suggestive in some shape or way or form but when you look all the way past that and you see all the amazing gameplay the music the presentation the amazing visuals oh you really understand that shante isn't so much about its suggestive content it's more about the actual core content if that makes any sense and no i'm not trying to say that to say that i'm not horny when i'm really fucking horny as hell no, I'm not saying that. <laughs> I'm saying that because, again, it seems like people really don't like Shantae or they're just kind of like shy themselves away from the series because it is a suggestive looking series. But in all honesty, I do feel like people would appreciate Shantae more if they realize that that's not all of what the games are. I mean, you could look at Kingdom Hearts and be like, oh, you know, that's a convoluted ass series, but that's not exactly all of what Kingdom Hearts is. And you know what, that actually gives me an idea. 